I turned my five gallon aquarium into a mini aquaponic system. It took some adjustments and I'll show you how I set it up and what exactly is aquaponics and why it's cool. But first, what is aquaponics? Aquaponics is just a fish tank that you add plants to. Specifically, you're adding them to the sump, which is just the natural filter where the beneficial bacteria cycle occurs, AKA what cleans the fish tank biologically. Plants help clean the water by processing nitrates and ammonia in fish waste, which can be harmful to the fish, and the plants then use these nutrients to grow. There are lots of ways you can do this, but our goal was to make a simple setup that beginners can easily manage and start themselves. For this, we use a fish tank, a pump, and a grow tray with a drain. This system, like most aquaponic setups, rely on gravity to drain from the grow table back into the aquarium. So we placed our grow table on top of our 20 by 14 plant tower we got from Ikea. With this metal and glass tower, we're able to hang lights on the top levels very easily. So, so far, big fan of this setup. It's highly recommended you start with an established aquarium. First, we set up a grow tray. I drilled a one inch drain hole in mine to install a bulkhead for a drain. Keep in mind the placement of your drain hole. You'll need to mount the tray above the tank and orient the drain into the aquarium, preferably on the opposite end of where you'll be placing the submersible pump. The pump hose will need to reach to the tray and have a way to secure it. We used clips to attach to the tray lip, so that's probably the easiest route. Once that's set up, do a quick test of turning the pump on to check your flow rate. We're about ready to add the grow media, but before you do, rinse it with aquarium water to give a kickstart to the biology. You don't want to use tap water for this since it has antimicrobial properties. Once rinsed, add about two inches of media in the tray. We use Lika, but you can use any porous rock like pumice or lava rock. If you plan on eyeballing the flow rate with a larger or small pump, and different sized grow tray than ours, this can be pretty tricky. But with a one inch drain and a pump that flows 160 gallons per hour with a two and a half inch deep by 22 and a half inches long by 16 and a half inch wide tray, you should get about one inch deep of water in your tray. Now let's talk about fish and their feed. For optimal plant growth in aquaponics, use fish food rich in essential nutrients for both fish and plants. Brands like Triton, available at hydroponic stores or online, cater to specific fish and plant nutritional needs. In a small tank, consider gold tetras, coolie loaches, zebra danios, or other hardy tetras. To tackle algae, use mystery snails and floating frog bit plants for shade and light absorption. Though some algae may still occur, this will definitely reduce it. If you plan on using mystery snails, also plan to either remove their nests or plan on a snail takeover. They are very easy to spot and take two to three weeks to hatch, so you'll have some time to scrape them off the glass. Time for plants. I've been propagating mostly tropicals like pothos, philodendron brazils, and devil ivy. All have taken greatly to the system and started shooting out new roots and leaves very quickly. Many herbs and other fruiting plants will also do great in aquaponics, but it's important to know not all plants are good in these systems, so do your research. So lastly, let me try and save you some time and tell you some of the failures I came across. First one was water pressure. I started with this small 40 gallons per hour pump and it had a really hard time getting water higher than 12 inches above the pump, resulting in a slow stream and lack of oxygenation and I lost two mint plants in that time. So I upgraded to 160 gallons per hour pump, which kept a healthy stream of water in the grow table. Secondly was tray troubleshooting. I started off with a traditional plastic grow tray with bottom ridges. Although you can use them, they are tricky due to the bottom not being flat and unable to attach a drain attachment to it. So I recommend spending a little extra for a sturdier flat bottom tray. You can still use a regular grow tray, just plan on a free waterfall drain back into the tank and a splashy drain at that. The third issue is protecting the submersible pump. If your pump clogs, you'll see reduced water pressure and can lose the needed oxygen for your plants. To avoid this, use a mesh bag or sock around the submersible pump. It's much easier to clean the outside of the mesh than open up the pump to clean its internal filter. So overall, I've loved this thing, especially with tropical plant propagation. It provides all the right nutrients and moisture they need without supplementation, all from fish and snail poop. And that's it the basics of how to make your own aquaponic system. Let us know how it turns out. We'd love to hear what worked and what didn't.